Okay, I am back. I have all the stuff up. It is also the next day, so if I make any stupid mistakes now, I just made a stupid mistake. I'm not tired. <sighs> Probably going to happen. Okay, so I picked out some things for the cover. I don't want to do too, too much on this cover. I don't want it real over the top. So I think I'm going to take this chipboard, which is a smaller version of the window, and just put it right on top of this one. And then just a few flowers at the bottom, and I'm going to put this as though it was sitting on the windowsill. Okay. And this thing is really bold. Let me see if I can bend it a little bit so it's flatter. Okay. That's better. Okay. Oh my goodness, there is. A... Apparently, I was so tired last night that I didn't put the pin back in my glue. It would be a miracle if this comes out. Let's see. I've already inked this. Huh. Let's about. Okay. You know, I'm basically just gonna kind of center this, but let's see about right about there. I just want to make sure the center line of the two windows lines up pretty well. Hey, Boo, what you doing? You can't see her, but Holly's trying to get in my lap. Hi, baby. How's my girl? All right, and there it is. So I've picked out. Um, some chipboards for inside the book. I've got some cutouts here, some little tags. Um, Holly on her way. There she is. You can hear her. Usually you guys get to see Jolly, but this is Holly. Her sister, considerably more fluffy. Yeah, what you doing? Just coming to see what's up. Oh, gonna, gonna lie down. Okay. So we just had a little tussle and things are now a mess. Okay. And I have no idea where the piece that I wanted to put there ended up. Was it this one? I don't think it was. Oh, here it is. Okay. All right. Let me do that. straighter. There we go. And grab a baby wipe. Okay, and then I have a few flowers. I might need more. And I might need um I might need some leaves. I don't have too many leaves on these flowers. I I don't want a lot. I think I need, I have, I've shown all the flowers in my um, haul for this project. If you're not seeing it, you can go ahead and have a look at that if you want to see what exactly these flowers are that I'm using. I think, I think that right there just might be enough. And then 
this one because I kind of want the. This is the only one that has any leaves attached to it. So I think I'll put it kind of like that more on top. to show that there. I thought about doing some die cut leaves, but I think this might be enough. If it's not, then I'll do that. Okay. And then let's see, we'll put this one here. Now I've picked out, and well I haven't picked out, but what I've done is cut um, inserts, like templates for the inserts, wherever I need them and put them in except for the side pockets. I'm going to use this little die cut of the house. And that's going to echo this of course, and I'm just going to put it down here as a tuck spot. So it just needs a little bit of glue. I'm just putting a little glue here on the bottom corner. And I'm just going to put it right there so it kind of looks like it's living on that hill. Okay. This book, I mean, it's got a lot going on. It really does not need a lot of embellishing. Um, let's see, I picked out these two things. I hadn't decided. I was kind of thinking of that there. And that there. I think that works. I don't know if I'm going to use these two tags or not. I just sort of stuck them in there. I stuck things in all the pockets just to have something in them as a sort of a, like I said, a template for what I might end up with in the end. I was going to do all this in one video, with, um, but I think I may end up breaking it up and doing this embellishing as a second part. Okay, that's good. I don't need anything here or here. Um, this is an insert that I've made. I didn't want anything there or there. I do have a, a little tuck spot that I cut that I might put. I was actually thinking of putting it here. That's kind of cute, huh? We already have this kitty somewhere else, but I don't mind. Okay, let's ink this. Okay, so we want it here. So I think I'll just, I'm just put my fingers basically where I want to put the glue.
Okay, put that there. Now I'll have to have something to tuck in there. I have this, I haven't finished cutting it. Okay. We could put another tuck spot here, but I'm kind of okay with that as is. I tried a few things here, but this paper is so busy, it just seemed fine by itself. And this was fine. I thought about putting something on the belly band, but I, at some point I feel like I'm gilding the lily. So. And I, same here. Um, I thought about putting something there, but I ended up deciding to put this elsewhere. Um, actually, this, okay, so this is where I decided to put this. I'm going to put this right here on top of that. It'll be on top of that little closure thing a little bit, but that's okay. Just, it's a little bit curved. Just flatten it out, give it some ink. do not have to do this but I'm going to put this tiny little butterfly right down here to kind of cover where I had that seam that I because I messed up cutting this mat but you will have cut your mat correctly so you won't have this issue This doesn't really need anything. I, could, I mean, again, I'm starting to feel like if I put anything there, it's basically gilding the lily. It doesn't really need anything. Um, I did look at putting, uh, you know, something like this on here, but I just love that mat. I didn't really want to cover it. I have this piece here. But I couldn't figure out, like it would be great, this piece, if we had done a horizontal belly band, it would stop things falling out of the belly band. But I didn't do one, I did a vertical one. And, you know, I don't, that doesn't do anything. So I'll hang on to that, I might have use for it in some other project down the road. Again, these are kind of plain, so they could use something, but nothing really seemed to speak to me that I tried. So I think... Unless, you know, we'll do one more pass through to see if we want to add anything else. But I think that's that. Okay. Oops, that's that. So this piece. Now, one thing I'm going to add, and I probably won't do it on camera, is some narrow strips where I have this um, wide green space in the gussets. Um, and I'll just take some scraps and do that. But you'll still have seen that on the walkthrough. All right, so let's see what we've got. So there's no inserts here. This is fine. I do have an insert here, right in this pocket. And obviously it can't be very much because we don't want any dimension to speak up there. So let's, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm gonna grab my corner topper. I'm sure I'm not gonna want that square. Let's do a let's do scallops on all four corners. And how big is this? Move these aside. 
All right, so I need a map three and three eighths by five and an eighth. That closes. Okay. Here I have these two little graphic 45 tags. I'm not sure I'm going to use them just because I, I don't like to use something you might not have. Although you can make your own. So I think this guy's fine. I just need to mat him. plus a narrower one that I thought they would do some sort of tag type thing. Okay, whoops, where did that come from? Oh, not the cover, I don't need to panic. Okay, all right, so let's cut this first. And this may be a different size, just given how I cut it. Five and five eighths by four and five eighths. one and I have lots of little scraps that we could turn this into a tag. So let me pull some of those over. Let me separate out my little scraps from the big scraps. Okay, so those are the bigger ones. Let me put those over here. And then I have all of these little guys. Let me move these flowers and things out of the way because I don't need them right now. I kind of want to use that if I can find a place. Okay. So let's see. It's kind of, kind of pretty if we used that. This is pretty. Is it supposed to go? I think it's supposed to go like that. That so we can use the kitty part. That needs something a little bit square. We have this. That's pretty good. Let's do that. Okay. is wider than the base. Oops. I did not probably need to ink the whole thing. Let's put that. Just want to make sure it's even with the top of the base. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to put this piece here. Here. I'm going to let it hang over a little because this side is rough and I can cut that off later. 
let's, let's see where I need this to go to. I'm just eyeballing here. Okay. over a little bit like I said because I want it to overhang a little bit keep getting glue on the back I may have to put something on the back just to cover that up okay there we go okay and then we have this one it's gonna go here oh I didn't ink that oh well I want to add anything to this. I think I've got enough bulk on the inside of this book already, but if you want to add something, go ahead. Okay. Now I'm just going to trim it to fit that side spine, top spine. should use my big cutter for this. But. Okay. And then, I think I'm trying to decide if I want to cut the corners and make it a tag. Why not? And let's see what I do with the corner rounder. Here it is. All right, so I'm going to take the, which one? I think the quarter inch and just round the lower corners. That and then I think I'm just going to cut the upper corners at an angle like that. And then you just want to take the piece that you just cut off like that and put it over here and use it as a guide for the other side. Okay, that's good liking that and then we want to put a grommet I think might as well that's still longer than I need but that's all right cute okay these go in here cut apart and a little tag. Oh, you know what? We need to ink the edge of that tag because we trimmed it. Okay, there we go. Tag. Um, this has nothing and is fine. This, we have this little guy. So this is um, going in the, you know, under the belly band. So let's round the corners.
here. Okay, and then we have the envelope. And I did cut a little something to go in there. And I think with this, I'm just going to do pink on either side because you could put a photo on one side and some journaling on the other. There we go. Okay. That is going in our envelope. Oops. Done. Nothing neat. Oh, you know what? We do need something here. Hang on. You know, we're going to get back to that. I don't have it open flat enough to open. Let me see. We have these that we need to mat, but those are fine for now. Okay, here I've got a couple things. Okay. And then we need something to tuck in there. All right. So these, I need something reasonably large. Not too big. Let's see. Put those over there. Alright. Yep, that. The only thing is that's if that, and then we could put something narrow there. Why not? Okay, so let's just put this one down first since it's the correct size already. thinking since I cut it a little short here maybe we'll put something vertical here that I'll actually measure that's kind of cool okay that's, all right that needs to be three and a quarter and what we could do is just do this as a tuck spot. So let's see what I do it that way. Just going to do three sides. So let's put some pink on the back. Okay. And I don't think I have anything handy that we could use to tuck into it, so I'm just going to leave it as is for now. Okay. And then we have this one. I kind of like this because we're if the page it's going in is the one with the house. All right, so let's use this. Let me cut it down. thing is you're going to see the bottoms of those pots which is not very attractive we could just put a stripe I don't want to use that because that's quite clearly I mean unless I cut off the pot that's kind of pretty 
that, or do I want that? Well, either way, I'm going to use this. I just need to cut it, cut it to size. Probably could have gone a full inch with that, but I think it would have been too much. Okay, and I'm just going to trim a tiny bit off of here. What I do with my baby wipe? Literally just had it in my hand. There it is. I'm sorry, guys. It's got to be annoying to watch me working in this hot mess. We will get it. not quite square. Okay. There. That's a lot easier than I made it look, I have to tell you. Okay. This goes here. Okay, it's a little tall. I think it's just not fully in the pocket. There we go. And then I'm thinking maybe do something with this to tuck in there. That would be cute. It's two cats. Kind of like that. Okay, let's do that. I'm trying not to break one. Okay. Once it's been in there, that'll loosen up and make it easier. It's a little tall, I think. That's all right. It's not too tall. Okay. What time is it? Okay. I think I'm going to take a break and have some lunch. And then oh, I'm going to do that. Um back. We still have quite a bit to do. Okay, I'm going to take a break and have some lunch. I will be back in just two seconds for you. Oh, all right, we're getting there. Okay, I am back. I had some lunch, ran some errands. While I was doing that, I was thinking to myself, why am I making so many mistakes with this? Just basic measuring mistakes, stuff like that. I mean, I was making mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes, but I think what it is, is I've been rushing. And I don't know why, because I'm not under any kind of time constraint. I don't have to get this done. So I just need to slow down. Um, so I was thinking, I was looking at this one, and we didn't put anything on the back, and I'm going to add something to the back of this one. As it's, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of curling a little bit. Let's see if I can measure it correctly. Four and three eighths by five and three eighths. But anyways, no need to rush. And I don't know why I was rushing, but I was. Okay. It's got a pencil mark on it, so that's all right. I'll just put that side down. Three is actually, I can cut that side off. Side down because that's got the pencil. But anyway, um, I tell you all the time, don't worry about making mistakes. It's no big deal. Most mistakes can be fixed. Don't get all like crazy over it. But, and I didn't put my pin back. 
But if, like me, you find yourself just making a whole lot of um, basic sort of mistakes, like measuring, um, you know, maybe it's time to walk away, take a break, and slow down. I mean, unless you're literally working under a deadline, it's this is definitely a, the process and not the end product. So, like I said, I really don't know why I was rushing because I'm not on a deadline. I don't even have a specific project lined up for after this one. So, just need to slow down. Sometimes I feel like, oh, if it takes me too long, the video is going to be so long. But that's not true because I edit, so... Even if I record, and you would not believe how much footage I record. You know, if a video is eight parts and all the parts are, you know, half an hour to an hour, I might have 16 hours recorded or more. Oops, here comes Jolly. Hey, baby. Okay, we finished that. We finished that. Um, we still have to map these. Why don't we do that now after we get Jolly to go somewhere else? Jolly, there's no room for you up here. And after lunch, I took a break and I was just lying on my bed watching YouTube videos, stuff like that. She could have had all the time in the world to get up and cuddle with me, but no, she wants to wait until I come here. And she's going to go wandering off. Okay. So I have these. One, two, three, four. Okay, so let's do these. I don't want to put anything on the back of these because I don't want to add any more bulk than I absolutely have to. Okay, let's see. I think since this has writing on it, it should go near the top so you can see the writing. It's going to look a little upside down, so I'm just going to put it there. There we go. Okay, we did this. We did this. We did not do this. Okay. So, a little something in this pocket. Here's where I'm probably going to have to start, not start, I have already cut into the other 12 by 12, but I think I'm just going to have to pull that over for these. And I don't know if you can see, but this is not inking all that well, because this is where the adhesive is, where it bound into the book. And I'm just going to trim a teeny tiny bit of that off. I should have done that before I cut it, but I didn't notice it.
Nice. And I posted a sneak peek of this project um, and somebody, maybe one of you, commented that she loved it, but um, she probably wasn't going to do it because it's so expensive to buy, to have to buy four collections. And I get that. It's, you know, it's not... It's not the cheapest hobby in the world to do this. But there are ways you could stretch it. I mean, there's a lot of places where I used pattern paper that you could use pink cardstock instead, which I know cardstock's not cheap either, but and that's one way that you could do it. But you could have you could do it with just two of these signatures. I mean, this is 18 pages, so it really wouldn't be a big deal to have it be, um, you know, just two, you would still end up with 12 pages. So there are ways you can do it. I'll show you in a minute. Just tuck it in where it goes. Okay. And let's see. I think I'll put the butterflies on the front and the stripes on the back. Okay. So let me bring this back over. Okay. So I tucked that one in there. And then this one we just made, I'm going to tuck in this pocket. Thanks. Like that. Good. All right, we're getting there now. I have here. I have a couple of bookmarks that need to be matted. I have just a little, this is going to be another little tag, I think. And then we have a cut apart. So cut apart's pretty straightforward. Let's see where we're at with that. And there's that one. Right, put that over there. And then we have these, and I'm sure I must have some scraps that are of a size that will work for these. There's one. I think that's too short. That one's too short. I've got a bunch. Okay, maybe one of these is big enough to do both on it. Perfect. Okay. So, how wide are these things? One and three quarters. So I need two one and one and seven eighth strips from this should work. Okay. So what we're going to do with these is put them right at the bottom of these strips that we just cut. So an equal space side to side and at the bottom. Okay. Before I glue this down, I'm wondering if I want to use it as a template to cut a piece of pink for the back. It would be almost impossible to line it up perfectly, though. Yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. It was a thought, but...
could turn a simple little bookmark into a hour-long project. And while I'm not in a hurry, as I stated shortly ago, there's limits to my patience for certain things. thinking what I could do, I could just put a straight piece of pink on the back. They're not warping though, so I think they're fine. All right, so then I'm just cutting. You saw me do this earlier when we made that band around the shape at the top. I'm trying to leave about an even amount at the top as I did on the sides, which man, that's crooked, isn't it? Let's see if we can fix that a little bit. That's better. Okay, there we go. And where are these going? They're going in a pocket. I think there would be room for me to grommet these and put a little bit of uh, baker's twine in them. Let's do that. Oh, stab myself with the scissors again. Okay. Oh, let's bring this over. All right, so I have this in here. And then I have these two bookmarks. And then I had this that I was going to cut into a tag. I don't think I need it. That's pretty... Hang on to that. I don't think we need that. Okay, so then under this little belly band that I just took away, where well, you can't see it, I had this little narrow piece and then in that pocket I have this bigger piece and I'm just gonna set that aside. Alright so this I should have a scrap that is sufficient. As a matter of fact I have one right here that is just about exactly right. Kitty butt sticking out, but it's cute. 
Okay, that's that. There's no pockets here, we have here. And I don't really want to use this because I didn't use these anywhere else, so we'll cut something else smaller for that. I have this. This needs to be more tag-like so you can easily pull it in and out. So we will do that. Let's, um, let's do another patchwork one like we did before. we want to put on this. Got this little skinny bit of striped. Just don't want to, uh, you know, we don't want to cut off the kitty's nose there. But we could cut it right about there. That pocket is, um, it's not super flat. It has some volume, but we I don't think we could use chipboards in it. side of it is a little bit wonky. Let's do this side. Okay. do that. I just have too many layers right there. It does not want to cut through. Use my scissors. Okay, there we go. And let's do this side. on the back, but I am going to cut the corners. I think it'll be all right. Let's just do the pink first and then cut the corners. So I'm going to round the bottom corners, quarter of an inch, like that, and then I'm going to round the top, not round the top, but use the my little scallop on the top.
You could just use corner rounder. You could cut an angle like we did on the other one. Whatever, whatever works for you. Okay. And then we will put um, some ribbon in here. here I just want to make sure that I'm cutting the putting the hole pretty much in the center oops I think that line is just about the center yeah okay careful because I don't want to punch a hole in our little kitty's face. There we go. Let's see, we used the gold one earlier. Do we want to use a gold one again? I think that stands out too much. I think I'll stick with this gray one that I used just earlier. I thought that I had more of that pink ribbon that I cut by accident cut. Oh, I think I do. Is that it? No, nope, that's white. some. You could put a tuck spot right here. Maybe we should, huh? Maybe we should put a tuck spot there. Because there's room in that pocket, I think. Let me see. Oof, maybe not. It's a pretty tight fit. Okay. No tuck spot, but isn't that cute? The little kitty's peeking out the top. Okay, and then we need a little something for the tuck spot that's in here. Oh, I'm just gonna pull that right there. Just a little, little bitty something. Maybe just this kitty. We'd have to trim. How much? Not that much. I think we could do it. Let's use that. Okay. Trim. Well, I'm not measuring this. It's a scrap. I'm just going to trim close to the kitty's head on this side and close to the kitty's butt on this side. Okay, and then we want to put that on a scrap of green. Oh, 
I'm just going to put it on here and then cut it out. sure we're about done with these little guys. Let me get them out of the way. Here it is. All right. Just like that. Ooh, he's a little big sticking out like that. Not too bad. That's all right. Would that look better if he didn't stick out though? I think it would. Okay, hang on. Maybe we could put him in the other way. Or is he too tall? Too tall. Oh no. Okay, so we'll use him elsewhere. I need to make something smaller. check I like it but I just want to make sure there's not somewhere else that I might like it better we can I think we only did that one other tuck spot right here and it's already got a kitty unless we want to put like all the kitties but that doesn't look good it's better where it was this is a chunky book okay all right let's take one last quick Flip through. I've got these pieces left, but I may do something with those. Okay, let's get rid of this stuff. All right, so we've got our oh spine, spine, spine. I wanted to put something on the spine. Okay, I was gonna use one of these. It's also kitties. Put a kitty on the spine, be cute. That's really cute. Hang on, let me lift it up so you can see. All right, so we have a kitty, which is extremely cute. We have this, which I think is not right. Oops. And this little guy that I like, but I think it's too small. We have that, but it's also pretty small. Honestly, I don't think I'm going to find anything I like any better than that cat. Yep, cat it's going to be. a little bit like a lighter version of my jolly and I'm gonna put it at the bottom you know as though it was sitting there at the bottom okay just checking to make sure it's flat sometimes these aren't and you have to bend them a little bit I 
think I need to stand up so I can tell if he's or she, I should say she, right? Since it looks like Jolly. I think that is pretty good right there. Cute. Okay. All right, done with those for now. Oh, do I have a lot of cleaning up to do tomorrow? And I'm not doing it today. Okay. <sighs> My hands are a mess. Okay, so we have our cover. I'll, I'll do a full walkthrough, but I just wanted to go through real quick and make sure we didn't miss anything. So we have tuck spot. Everything is matted there. That's got a thing that's got a thing this could use something else but I think I'm gonna leave it because this oh you know we didn't do any side pocket inserts do we want them I don't think so if you want to put them in put them in but I'm gonna leave them out because this book is about as thick as I want it um, but you can put them in if you want um, there pocket there this is just a cut apart flap. Here's our belly band with the waterfall. Here's our envelope and it's got something in it. So we're good with that. Um, the one thing I haven't done and I will do, but I'll do it off camera. You'll see it in the walkthrough is I'm going to put little strips here and at the tops of the waterfalls. Okay, we did this. These fit pretty close together, so you have to be careful with them. Okay. Pockets have stuff. Tuck spot. Accordion pocket. Belly band has booklet. This pocket has a booklet. Couple of um, bookmarks. Did we, and we did all, I know we did all of this. We did this. Okay. Like that and like that and that and the back. Okay. I'm going to call that done. All right. So I'm going to put in those just little narrow strips that I mentioned and then film the walkthrough. So you will have seen it with those strips in place. And you can see this really cannot get any fatter and that's why I'm not putting the um, side pocket inserts in. You can if you want, but um, like I said, I'm not going to. I, plus, not to mention the fact I have very little green paper left. And I don't think it needs it. I think this book's got plenty going on with the 18 pages that we did. And I'm going to tie this. Okay, I think I'll lift it up. There we go. Okay. There we go. Orchids and cats from Stamperia. This one was fun. They're all fun. I love them all. Um, I've got to try. Clearly, I have some ribbons I need to trim. So I hope you enjoyed it. This was designed for Scrap and Create. You can get all your supplies there. It supports me and it supports them if you do, and we'd appreciate it. Um, I have no idea what my next project is going to be, but I hope you'll join me for it. Please like, share, subscribe. It really helps the channel. There is a link to the cutting guide down below if you're just for some reason ending up watching this last episode first. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.